Hello everyone. So today let us do something really interesting and it is a very common requirement from uh, people who use Jira for managing their projects, their work. Now in this video let us uh, create a simple automation to automatically close the parent when all the subtasks are closed. So if I look at one of my uh, one of my uh, story so let us let us open this this story which is already done but it's okay we can all we can reopen it so i can see here that in this particular story i have this uh, status called in progress so let us move it to in progress because why not and we have these uh, three subtasks so we have in progress done and to do for the uh, status of these subtasks and what we want to do the moment uh, the subtasks are done we just want to simply also make the story as done. So to do this, what I will do, I will uh, open uh, my automation um, and I will then create a rule to automatically transition the parent. So cl click on the create rule button on top. The name of the uh, rule, let me just name it something like uh, transition parent from subtask and the scope is uh, Android 2.0 <clears throat> and this is uh, looking good the trigger now the trigger is that we want to do it on a transition for uh, the subtask so maybe we can do something like uh, transition come on where is transition issue transitioned and uh, we can say okay whenever the issue is moved from uh, or any status to done let, let us do it from any status to done because why not then do this and uh, at this stage we may want to um, of course uh, add a condition here maybe do it only for subtask so let us let us say uh, you only want to do it for uh, uh, for a subtask then you can say something like this issue type is equal to subtask so we'll probably not do it for any other uh, for any other uh, issue type because I think it makes sense and uh, what we want to do is we actually want to now go to the parent so I'll add here uh, a new branch and uh, we will find the parent of this particular uh, subtask now we, we are now inside a parent so basically we started with the subtask and then we are going to the parent but when we are going to the parent we now want to also uh, check all the subtasks so from parent will go back to the subtask but not just one subtask will take a look at uh, all the subtasks so basically this related issues conditions is going to uh, check something on all the related issues basically in this case all the subtasks which is already listed here but you can also do it for let us say parent or stories under uh, uh, let us say an epic something like that but but in this case of course it is simple it is of course subtask and uh, the condition co could be that uh, all match specified uh, uh, jql and the status could be or the jql has to be done is equal to i believe done oh, i mean status is equal to done which is of course the query and if i want i can of course check it for uh, uh, i mean this is a valid jql and this looks good but of course we are going to do it only for those uh, individual basically what we'll do the moment you the what this rule will do let us say you transition this uh, issue this subtask to done then the rule will go back to the parent and then the rule will uh, check the status of all the subtasks under it so uh, this is interesting right and then uh, if that happens then you simply need to make sure that you transition the issue simple right so you you can say uh, if all the subtasks are uh, done then transition my uh, parent to done and uh, maybe maybe we want to add a comment because why not it is always good to uh, do we have a comment here no not here uh, we need to basically add a comment separately so let us let us just save it first and then uh, uh, I'll probably add one more uh, option here comment on issues and all subtasks are done so this is something that we can easily do using uh, using of course uh, these automation rules 
and uh, let us look at the audit log and let us monitor this let us see if this works so i'll go back to the uh story not story yeah those the story but i'll uh, start with the first one so let us say the uh status is now done for one of the story not really for everyone and then then i'll go back to the to the rule and it says no actions performed and that is great because uh, uh one of the issue didn't pass the condition so i'll do it for uh, uh i'll also do it for this one basically uh the the next subtask i'll move it to done and i'll take a look at the uh rule audit raw or audit, audit log and now it says success so it basically did something and it says comment added and of course uh, the the issue is transition so if we now go back to the issue let us now take a look at it and this is now done and this is of course wonderful right because uh, we are doing it automatically and there is also a comment added so this looks super interesting and uh, useful i guess because uh, we are able to do these wonderful things very easily nicely using uh, automation rules and uh, a simple automation but can be can be really useful all right that is it that is it for uh, this video i hope i hope you found this video useful and you learned something new thank you very much Bye bye